Hi Sag, hello guys, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be another love reading for you. This is a timeless love reading, so whenever you're watching it, is when you're meant to hear it, if you resonate with it, okay? Let's get into your love reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for Sagittarius? Give them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity. And peace of mind. What messages do you have for Sagittarius in love? When it comes to love, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Alright, All right, one more shuffle. the bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Security, stability, material comforts. Um, this is a bit perfect. Um, material comforts. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Um, she's a single individual. And, um, yeah, she got it going on. Okay, so we'll see how that Nine of Pentacles plays out in your reading. All right, so what messages do you want to bring forth to Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Okay, thank you. Okay, Six of Cups, somebody from your past, an ex, a friend, a soulmate, Somebody you've known for a long time. Hmm. They're showing up. Alright, Six of Cups. What's up with the Six of Cups for Sagittarius? What's up with the Six of Cups for Sagittarius? The Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Why the Queen of Cups? Could be dealing with the cancer or a water sign. Um, this person, ooh, this person has gone through some type of an ending. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Definitely have gone through an ending of a family situation, a relationship. Maybe children were involved. It doesn't have to be, but it's a family situation and it has ended. Why the Ten of Cups? Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups? That's a love offer of some sort, maybe. Okay. Uh, that could be you're still your person's energy. Like they are holding back from some type of communication. Why the Page of Wands? Passionate communication at that, but the beginning. Okay, Six of Cups again. What's the energy of this Six of Cups? Okay. Wow. All right, we got we got something going on here. Whoa, pursuing. Um. Like this person feels like they they deserve something, right? And so, there are they ready? They are ready to jump all in. Like they're waiting. It's like they're. It's like they're rushing towards something. But I feel like they're they're going to end up having to wait for it. Or they could be determined. Okay, this is also a card of determination. Just being, per they're pursuing something, like, aggressively. Maybe something they've planned. They've been planning something, strategizing with something. Um, a long-term commitment or some type of wealth or money. Like, if this person has an ex, I feel like they are 
holding themselves back from that person. They're, they're not really talking to them. Um, why, why is this Six of Cups here? Why is this Six of Cups here? Why the Six of Cups? Okay. Yeah. Eight of Swords in the reverse. They're holding back from this person. I feel like they are trying to start um, a new beginning. And I kind of get that here too. They're planning it. They're strategizing with it. Why the Eight of Swords reverse? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, they've given up. Definitely given up on something. Seven of Wands. This person has given up on something. Uh, four of Cups because they were not happy. Like they were, they were dissatisfied here. Why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? Okay. Dang. Muted. Okay. Oh, the stars. They're hoping, wishing, praying for something, having faith in what? Why the stars? Curious energy. Why the stars? There we go. Okay. King of Swords. Aquarius, Aquarius energy. Capricorn. Um, maybe they want to take control. They want to make decisive moves. They're serious about it. Why the King of Swords? But this could just be who you're dealing with. I don't know. The Three of Cups. Reuniting? Do they want to reconcile here? Why? Because I'm, you know, I have to ask, like, why does Sagittarius need to know this? Like, why is this a thing? Like, what does it have to do with Sagittarius? And I think it's because they, they are about to try to make their way toward you. Why the Three of Pentacles? I'm sorry. Why the Three of Cups? Yeah. Ooh, Two of Cups. Honey Child. Honey Child. I think this person wants to reunite with you. Even I even feel reconciliation. They have a connection with you. Um, I, I kind of feel like they were involved with someone. But also what I see here is they're not talking to that person. Like they're not engaging with them, should I say. Um, I don't know if this is... I don't get entirely like they have completely cut them off. But they are resisting this person or they've created boundaries, you know, like there's barriers here. Um, they could have set barriers like if they call or text, if they text, I'm going to respond with one word answers. Like I'm not going to engage with this person. You know what I mean? Like they're resistant. Okay, so... With that being said, what's going to happen then? If they're trying to get ready to come toward you, pursue this, they feel hopeful. They're hoping, praying, wishing. Um, if that's the case, what in the world is going to happen? Let's see. What's going to happen here for Sagittarius and their love interests? What is the potential outcome for Sagittarius? Ooh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, the Two of Cups and the Hierophant tried to come out. Okay. Let me not get excited. I don't know if that's going to come back out, but let's see. What is the potential outcome for Sagittarius and their love interest? What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome? Okay. The Seven of Wands. Someone standing their ground. Not backing down. Fighting for something. Why, why the Seven of Wands? Ooh. The Ten of Wands. Okay. So... I feel like this person will try to fight for what they want. 
or someone is guarded. I don't know if this is you or them. Why the Ten of Wands? Okay, the Empress. Burden is exhausted by the Empress. What's this? Okay, Page of Swords, the Judgment. So this is your person. I feel like they are going to try to fight for this. They're going to try to fight for you. There's, I think that Nine of Pentacles is there. Like they're single now. They're independent. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're independent of this ex person. But they view you as the Empress. You're a little bit, um, I don't know, like they feel, you, you may weigh heavy on them. You know what I'm saying? Or this idea of fighting for you is burdening for them. It's probably exhausting. Because I saw that they were planning, you know what I mean, how to present you with this Ten of Pentacles. Um, that could be pretty draining for them. But I feel like they are going to come to you and tell you uh, about, you know, let's renewing this. Okay? Starting this up again. Second chances. Why the judgment? Why the judgment card? Why the judgment here? Okay, King of Wands. Mm -hmm. That could be you. King of Wands. Um, why the King of Wands? The devil in the reverse. That's about releasing, not not holding on to it, letting it go, releasing it. Um. Hmm. Recovering. Why the devil reverse? Okay. The Knight of Cups in the reverse uh, talks about um, someone procrastinating. Hmm. Or, you guys, if this person, your love interest, is, if they lied to you, if they betrayed you, if they cheated on you, they did something like that, I feel like this is you. Um, it's like they want, this is what they want you to do. Because they want a second chance. So they want you to like release any type of lies. You know what I mean? Or unless this is them, this king of wands. I mean, it's a, it's a fire sign. Let's see, what is the energy of the king of wands? Wherever this person is, they're releasing some type of like f untruth. Some type of lies. Okay, yeah. This is your person. They're this they're this king of wands. I think because they've matured, they're very focused. They're trying to be um implement you know, just pa being passionate, compassionate, um, doing a, a noble thing, okay? But the eight of cups and the reverse, just saying that's like let's try one more time. They want to try this one more time. They're, if they lied to you, they were being fake and phony and keeping secrets and stuff. I feel like they're letting that go. They're releasing that. So the potential outcome is, um, I get that they're going to come to you because they want a second chance. They're standing there. I don't think they're going to back down. Let's see. What is the energy of the seven of wands? I don't think they're going to really back down. They might really fight for this. Okay, Six of Swords. I think they are. Why the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords? Okay, yeah, that's them. So if you guys were dealing with some craziness, some chaos, some drama, this is them moving into a more peaceful part of the water. You know what I'm saying? Like the part, this is the peaceful part of the ocean. And this is communication about starting something new, that new beginning. So I feel like they are going to come to you because they want this second chance. Like, let's try it again. Like, literally one more time. Let's, let's give it one more time. 
Like, I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be phony. I don't want to lie. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to do any of these things. Like, they don't want to do that. So, what is your advice? Because this is what they're, this is the potential outcome. What is your advice? I feel like I've, I've been getting this these readings for you, Sag. Um, where it's like this person wants to come back to you. I mean, and I feel like I get these readings over and over until it actually happens. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Alright, what, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? What advice do you have for Sagittarius in love? Okay, the Nine of Wands. Okay. The Nine of Wands. Mm, mm. Let's see why is the Nine of Wands here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Okay, okay. Alright, so let's do this like this, like that. Okay, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Um... The Nine of Wands is here. It's like preparing yourself for... I don't like that. That's like usually preparing yourself for the worst. I'm gonna... I'm gonna clarify that. But there's also something here about being willing to express your feelings, to accept an apology, to give an apology, um, to say how you feel. What's the energy of the Nine of Wands? The Four of Wands. Okay. Um, why the Four of Wands? The Ace of Pentacles. Why? Okay. That Nine of Wands. Why? Hmm. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. I'm throwing off a little by that one. Uh oh. Why? What, tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Why? Why did the Nine of Wands come out? Hmm. Communicating about some type of ending. So, I got this with, um, Capricorn, yes, um, don't, don't be afraid, or don't hesitate to bring things up, like this person coming, coming to you for a second chance, like you should talk about this quote unquote ending, right? that came up, it showed me that there was an ending, showed me that they weren't even really dealing with that person. Um, I don't get that they cut them off, but I, there could have been very minimal amounts of communication between the two of them. Um, Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, maybe talk about the betrayal. If this person betrayed you because I kind of got that they did, don't be afraid to bring that up. And I was telling Capricorn the same thing. Well, that was what came up in their advice is sometimes people need to know the extent to uh, of their actions, like what damage it has done. Like they need to they need a picture painted for them. And I'm getting that here. I'm getting that here. And I'm, even with this, it's kind of giving me persistent vibes. Because that card can represent having stamina, being persistent about, you know, because uh, uh, these are very good cards. Happy home, new beginnings, solid new beginnings, stable, happy homes. Like, like almost like don't, like they have to be offering you this. They can't be offering you nothing else, nothing less than 
the best. You are the empress. So they should be offering you this. And don't be afraid to say, hey, you know what? We need to talk about this betrayal. Remember you did this to me or an ending of some sort, right? Even if, if it's not a betrayal, something that failed, something that ended. Like you guys need to have this conversation. I think it's between the two of you. Not so much what they had with someone else, but between the two of you. And don't and, and, and express your feelings. Okay, why the Page of Cups? Okay, Six of Swords. I think that's what I promise you. I think that's what this is saying. <laughs> Six of Swords in the reverse talks about um, the obstacles. Okay, you need to tell them what you've been through. That is amazing. Capricorn literally had the same advice. Some of you, I don't know if that's your reading, but... Um, Mm. That reading feels very similar. Um, but yeah, you guys don't like ask questions, put it out there on the table. This person is going to come to you wanting a second chance, but I think you need to be clear and they need to be clear where you stand, what you want, what you expect. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with having expectations as, as far as standards go. Yeah, I expect you to be honest with me. I expect you to do these things. And if you don't deliver, then I will show you the exit. Because we're not doing what happened before. That's not happening. And if it does, like, you know, there's your chance. There was your se your second chance or however many chances this person has had. It's time for them to know what their actions have done. Like, how they were toward, like, that really, like, hurt me. You broke my heart. You hurt my feelings. You, you know, made me feel insecure or whatever. Mm. Okay, then. Sagittarius. Because I feel like a conversation is coming. It's coming. Seriously. And you just need to let them know what's up. And I think the King of Cups is here is because this can be done in a very loving, calm way. There's no need to pull out swords and you know what I'm saying? Like you can go in disarmed. I don't I don't think it's going to be um a need to do that. Okay. Alright guys. Good luck with this situation. Good luck and love and I will see you all next week. Mwah. Deuces.